going to do a review on the Grasshopper Limited backrest for the 2018 Harley Davidson Ultra Limited. So let's get started. First off, this is probably one of the cheaper routes you can take, and a lot of times you get what you pay for. So I'm going to tell you what I think of this, and hopefully it can save you guys some time and money. I'm not going to do an install video, it's fairly simple. Uh, there's just one bracket, two bolts uh, mounted underneath the seat. It's fairly simple install, so I didn't see a need to do a video. I do want to say the quality of this, the backrest and the bracket itself are um, they're very nice. Uh, it's, it's good quality, at least it seems like it, especially for the money. Um, I'll show you a close-up of the backrest pad. So here's the pad itself. As you can see, the backrest pad itself is approximately three inches, maybe even just a hair thicker. At its widest point, if you can see that, is around ten inches wide, maybe just shy of that. It's like seven and three quarter inches tall. The bracket, or the arm, should I say, that's let's look at this. the arm that slides into the uh, bracket is um, 10 gauge steel, which is eighth inch thick, and it is about seven and five eighths of an inch of straight, and it's two inches wide, also. So uh, when you want to use the backrest, I mean it's very very easy to install. You just slip it down through the slot between the front and rear seat, and you pull this forward, you can see the uh, mounting bracket, and it just slides right into it, and it's installed. I have not rode with this, and I don't plan to. This is not going to work out for us. And I'll give you a little detail on that here in a minute. Well, we have to move the bike. I don't have a dead cat on the camera, so uh, and it's kind of windy. So I don't know if hopefully the wind didn't uh, interfere with the recording too much. But anyways, the thickness of this backrest it it's it's three inches thick, so it comes back into the passenger area a fair amount, and it's just it's just going to interfere with with uh, Mrs. Den with the passenger and something else I don't care for uh, this has quite a bit of flex to it which you know under a little bit of adjustment forward or back and I believe I have it as far forward as it'll go and the flex is in this 10 gauge here, I think. Honestly, I feel like if this was thicker, 3 sixteenths, I think would have made a big difference. Um, now granted, uh, my dad has a backrest just like this, but this part here is a lot shorter. So, I mean, it works, you know? But when you have a long piece like this, I don't know, it's just, it, it just, for me, it's not going to work and, and it interferes with the passenger. I mean, it's easy to take on and off, like I said, but I'll, I'll show you, I'll sit on it and show you. Okay, so I'm not leaning against it right now, but I am, I am up against it. And then when I lean against it, I mean, it's just, if I push back, I don't know if you can see it or not, but... I mean, it just gives quite a bit. I mean, it doesn't really hold me up. I mean, I only weigh about 175 pounds, so maybe 180. So it's not like I'm a huge guy, but I mean, you can just see it, the give that it has. Other than that, I, it, you know, it's nice, but it's it's not going to work out for us. So, for the cost, some people think it's a great backrest. 
And I mean, if it, if you can live with that give, uh, that flexing in that, then it's a great deal. But if you can't, or if this is going to interfere with your passenger because of the thickness, um, then you know there's no sense in getting it. So as far as the Grasshopper Limited backrest for the Harley Davidson Ultra Limited, um, I say it's a no-go for us. You can form your own opinion, but uh, I figured I would show you what we found out and hopefully you can uh, make an educated decision off of that. We appreciate your time and thanks for watching guys.